you need pickled onions in your life. And here's why. Welcome back to Solzar Cooking. Since I started pickling my own onions, they have become a staple of my kitchen. They're a great way to elevate the flavor of your food through three aspects. Number one is through taste by offering enough water acidity. Number two is through texture by offering crunch. And number three is by color by offering contrast. Put them on sandwiches, burgers, salads, and they go especially well on tacos. Just seeing them on top of tacos makes me salivate. All that from something that's so easy to make and it lasts a long time. So let's jump right in. All right, first thing we need to do is to cut these onions. So get ready to shed some serious tears. Now, how much onions are needed depends a lot on the size of the container you'll be pickling in. I'm using a one liter or 34 ounce IKEA cork and jar. So for this volume, we need four large 280 grams or 10 ounce red onions. Start with cutting the onions in half diagonally, then trim the ends and cut them in thin slices from root to stem. And if you have trouble seeing, don't shy away from pausing while cutting instead of losing a finger. Believe it or not, but the way you cut onions affect how they taste. Doing it like this, called across the grain, ensures less damage to the onion cells, resulting in a milder flavor. But it won't change how much they make you cry, so embrace the tears. Fill the jar about halfway and then add two garlic cloves. Smash them with the broad side of your knife to release the allicin. Then add the dried bay leaf. I find it essential for the flavor. This is the jar filled with two of the cut onions. It's why you always need to have more onion than you think you'd need. Now back to crying. I mean cutting. There, much better. Now, as a finishing aromatic, add one teaspoon of caraway seeds. Let's prep the pickling liquid. In a medium saucepan, add 200 milliliters or about 7 ounces of water and 400 milliliters or about 14 ounces of red wine vinegar. 2 teaspoons of salt and 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar or less sugar if you want it less sweet. Add the pan to the burner and bring it to a boil. Now once it starts boiling, pour it immediately in the jar. Seal it off and leave it on the counter until it cools off completely. Then place it in the fridge and let it sit for at least 24 hours. I had a bit left from my previous batch. This is how the finished product looks. Even after 3 weeks, they're still pretty crunchy. So let's prepare a quick snack to try them on. 7 quail eggs cracked and beaten in a medium heat pan, melt a bit of butter and toast 2 slices of bread. Then quickly scramble the eggs. Now, to plate, place the toast, add the scrambled eggs and top with the pickled onions and finish with some flaky salt. Now this is the color modifier aspect I was talking about. It brings a vibrant aspect to this basic piece of toast with scrambled eggs. And then the taste and texture aspects come into play, bringing this flavor trip full circle. I hope this convinces you of the power of pickled onions and how easy it is to make them. Whatever food you decide to eat them on, just give them a shot. And if you're stumped about what to try them on, check these recipes out. 